Howdy, partner. I might keep this hat for the whole video. Nah. Ob one plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Ob one plays. Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Where's my like button right there? Popped up just on time. Give it a like right now. Bro, the Switch new since the new year has been lit. Red Dead Redemption 2 has popped up for the Nintendo Switch. Now, I've already shared with you guys, Metro Redux, that's been officially listed. That's not a rumor, not a leak. That's officially <coughs> coming to the Nintendo Switch. Just a matter of when. When is Nintendo going to share that Nintendo Direct? Come on, Nintendo. We want to know. But, a listing for Red Dead Redemption 2 for the Nintendo Switch has just popped up on a Spanish retailer site. Instant Gaming has listed Red Dead Redemption 2 for the Nintendo Switch and it isn't an accident because it actually has like the box art with the Switch logo. And so, is this another Nintendo Direct surprise that has been leaked? Or maybe, just maybe, this falls in line with the recently hot off the press Rumors about a Nintendo Switch Pro coming in 2020 because Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the better looking games last generation and the game was struggling in some instances to run on the Xbox and PlayStation 4 base models. So for it to be on the Switch would put a strain on the system but Witcher 3 is also a real good looking game this generation and Witcher 3 has been ported to the Nintendo Switch and Saber Interactive I think they're the studio that ported Witcher 3 they just said that they have more Switch games that they're currently working on could Red Dead Redemption 2 be one of the ports that Saber Interactive is working on time will tell but this would be a good addition to the Switch Live. Now, no one can argue the Switch software killing it. We're going to talk about the hardware at the end of this video too. But, third-party games have been struggling. Even though they're getting third-party support because they must be selling good. So, um, a Switch Pro would be right up the alley to get some of these games, third-party games to run better, look better on the Switch. But... Witcher 3 still looks good, runs good, just a um, lower resolution. So Red Dead Redemption listed for the Nintendo Switch according to the Spanish retailer. And a question that I have is, will it have online multiplayer? Online multiplayer was added to the game. This would sell me on the Switch version if it has online multiplayer. If it doesn't have online multiplayer, I'm not getting it. So, make sure it's in there, Rockstar. And if Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to the Switch, now this is still in the rumor um, ballpark, what about GTA 6? The next Grand Theft Auto gotta come to the Switch, bro. Grand Theft Auto 5 is on the Xbox 360, bro. They could maximize the game. And so, Red Dead Redemption 2 has been listed for the Nintendo Switch. Time will tell. Next news item. Dragon Quest 12 is has started development already. Yuji Hori. He's tweeted a New Year's message uh, on January 1st discussing everything he and his team had achieved. This is coming courtesy of IGN. And part of his message was saying that production on Dragon Quest 12 
has begun. Dragon Quest XI, I have the demo downloaded on the Switch. I plan on starting this now. I just beat Luigi's Mansion 3 today. I'm going to beat Pokemon Sword and Shield. I have to admit, I haven't been feeling Pokemon Sword and Shield. But I'm going to beat the game. I bought it. I spent $60. I'm going to beat the game. I'm going to beat Pokemon Sword Shield. And I might. Maybe more I play. Maybe I get, got to give the game more of a chance. I'm going to beat Pokemon. And then I know I'm going to love this game. Bro, my favorite game of all time. The original Final Fantasy on the NES. Same company. Square, bro. And so I know I'm, I'm a, I love traditional JRPGs. And so I know I'm going to like this game. And so Dragon Quest um, 11. I'm talking about 11 when I start playing it. But Dragon Quest 12 um, in development, in development. You could expect that it's also going to be coming to that Nintendo Switch Pro in 2022. Whenever it launches. The... Um, Dragon Quest, the pro is coming this year, bro. Watch. All right. Next news item. I'm going to share with you guys a couple of games that are coming out in January. January. Um, for you to keep an eye out on for the Switch. I'm going to tell you, share my thoughts if I'm going to get them or not. The first one, Brain Edge. Now, this is listed as January 3rd, tomorrow, for the UK, for Europe. I don't know about a, an American launch. But in the UK, this listed as coming out tomorrow. I did have the original Brain Age on my DS. I don't know if I'm going to um, get this. I'm on, on the fence of getting this. I might pick it up so my wife can play it. She might like it. No, then she'll steal my Switch. And I won't get it back. I'll see. All right. Next game. I'm definitely getting this one. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I had this on my GameCube. This is a multiplayer RPG. So if a couple of sponsors get it, a couple of sponsors get it, we will game and we will play that Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. It drops on January 23rd on that Switch. And the next game, this is a hard pass for me. I'm going to let y'all know from now. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I passed on this game on the Wii U. I'm passing on it on the Switch. I've heard, though, the core combat in this game. It's good. It's just everything around it. Ah. If there wasn't anything else for me to play, I probably would get this. But I even have games in my backlog, so I'm not getting this. And the next, the last game in January for you to keep an eye out on is Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection. I was a huge Mega Man fan on the NES. I didn't play any of the Zero games. Uh, I think they came out on the Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, yada, yada. Never played any of the Zero games, but it drops on January 21st, the Mega Man Zero Collection. And the last news item for this video. Has the GOAT been dethroned? The GOAT? The greatest? Oh, I'm going to beat this game still on my Switch. The greatest console of all time, the Super Nintendo. Still, in my opinion, the greatest console of all time. Why? This is when Nintendo had the best first and third party games. The Switch is getting there. They just need a little bit more help. It's getting there, though. But it's just been reported that the Nintendo Switch has passed the lifetime sales of the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo sold for a lifetime 49.1 million units and Video VG Charts is reporting that the Nintendo Switch has passed 49.79 million units in their last December reporting. Bro, the last week, the Switch almost sold 1 million units in one week. You know how crazy? Those are launch sales numbers. The Switch is killing it right now. That's why, as lit as the Xbox Series looks, PlayStation 5, we don't know anything about it. The Switch is still going to be alright in 2020 because you got the Nintendo first party exclusives, bro. And um, it's just going to keep selling. The portability, the convenience of the platform, uh, the Switch is going to be just fine. In and bro, I'm going to let y'all know from right now. If a Switch Pro launches in 2020 as the rumors are heating up to say it will, it's a wrap for Sony and Microsoft, bro. I mean, it's not a wrap, but so, um, Nintendo's going to just continue to kill it. I think they're going to kill it even without the Switch Pro, but 
it would have helped for me, for me as a, a Nintendo fan to launch the Switch Pro sooner rather than later. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, bro. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. You know what? The hat's coming back. We out. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right, we're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways, but that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later.